Okay, so we talked about the different ways to cut the outside of the UTA. There's not as many, but there are several ways you can still cut the inside of the UTA. I'm going to demonstrate um, probably one of the most tried and true ways to cut a circle is with the router. Now, the reason I didn't do the router on the outside of the UTA is, again, it's not as efficient. One, um, a bandsaw is extremely efficient when it comes to removing material. Two, router bits are very expensive, so a bandsaw blade is going to last 10 times longer than one of my router bits, so I don't want to use that router bit any more than I absolutely have to. Now, the reason I'm doing it on the inside of the UTA is obviously we can't get through um, a hole on a bandsaw. You would need something like a scroll saw, or again, you could do a jigsaw if you wanted to. Um, but I'm going to do the router because I want it to be perfectly smooth and perfectly round on the first pass without having to do any type of touching up sanding because, again, that's where your inside tubing or your kydex or your plastic or other ABS type material is going to go. And so you put two-sided tape on the inside of that UTA. The more perfect to round it is, the easier it is to install that plastic material at the later date. So we'll get started. Um, the way you have to start is in that middle divot where we had originally used our compass to draw the square, I'm going to drill a hole. Now I want to get my hole as close to vertical as possible. So since my drill press isn't deep enough for this 20 inch um, circle, I'm going to use a couple of squares just to keep me going vertical. Take a look at the router. So I made a circle cutting jig for my Bosch router. And this is a plunge router, which is really nice to cut circles with because you can go a little bit at a time. Um, and as you can see, it's just a long piece of plywood, lots of holes drilled in it, each one signifying a different radius cut. So the inside of this, I believe, was 18 inches. So we need nine, which is. Right there. Perfect. Okay, so now I will go get my central pivot point, which is nothing more than a quarter 20 bolt, and we'll start routing. Okay, I think we're ready to cut the inside circle for the ring of the UTA. So I've got the central pivot point in, just a quarter 20 bolt, and then I just put a nut on top, cinch it down so that it doesn't wiggle a lot whenever I go. So I'll put on my safety glasses, before I start routing, you know, I point out that the router is probably the most versatile tool in the shop, but it can also be the most dangerous. Um, I like to make sure that I'm going to be able to clear everything. There's nothing in my way whenever I'm walking around and routing, because if it gets hung up, it will shoot back very, very quickly. So we'll put on safety glasses. And there's our bottom UTA ring. So I'll finish the next one alone and then we'll come back and start drilling the holes for the struts, mounting brackets, and the focuser board and finder board.